Hey gang, welcome back to Big Board. We're looking at the Caucus campaign and it's turn two. We're going through the German phase, German phases. And the first turn, you know, the, the combats were a little iffy and muddled, basically. And the second turn probably wasn't a whole lot better. I seem to have uh, forced a couple of attacks that perhaps I shouldn't have. You know, one here, I was trying to experiment with multi-hex attacks, so, you know, I've lost a, a step here on a pretty significant unit. And I believe there was one here as well. There's another one here somewhere. I've actually lost an entire unit already, and it's only the second turn. So, part of the problem is the CRT, which, let's see if I can get it down into your viewing, just so you can see a little bit of it. See the bolded A1, D1s in the exchanges? Uh, those, are, those are problematic because you know, they scale across, even at seven to one, you have a one in six chance. Actually, at seven to one, you have a two in six chance of taking a step loss and a two in six chance in six to one. In fact, you have a two in six chance uh, all the way down to well, really down to five to one, and then at four to one on back through to one to two, it becomes a exchange and a A1D1. So, you know, 33% of the time you're taking a loss when you're attacking, and I, I, I understand that, that's fine, but I, and so there's a, I guess, a, a consideration here that even though you have significant odds or, or a military capability advantage because we're using column shifts for effectiveness of units or troop quality and armor shifts and things like that. You're still in the viewpoint of the system of the game, you're still taking losses or still at risk of taking losses. Uh, it's just, it seems a little disparate to me that in some ways here, you know, I've got a division of, you know, armor of some type. And I can't really recall what the logo, what this logo is here. Uh, one of you guys could probably remember that, but you know, it's one of the, probably one of the SS guys or the, it's not the Grosser Deutsche, something else. But anyway, you know, I've taken uh, effectively a 40% loss on that unit to inflict two steps you know, actually one step on this guy, which is, oh, I'm sorry, that's blurred now. So a three down to a one. So now it wasn't, that wasn't a seven, one, a seven to one attack. It was probably, I don't know, a four or five to one attack. And that just seems like an awful lot of combat effectiveness and firepower to lose in what ends up being a pretty shitty little, you know, a bunch of crap that we're finding here. So that's uh, that's rubbing me the wrong way. I gotta tell you that much. What else? I like the asynchronous kind of movement system that's going on here. Yeah, here's the other division I lost. I lost this guy. And he had to retreat through his own control. That was just bad play. I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have done what I did. But so yeah. Anyway. So I've lost three steps of armor so far. So yes, there's asynchronous, you know, kind of play system here where you move, you combat, then the enemy has a reduced movement phase. Basically they have their second impulse first in the middle of the German turn. And then you go to the second impulse of the Axis turn and then the supply phase for the Axis and then the Soviet player turn, he has his primary phase his, and then his supply phase, and then you, you end the turn. It's got a nice little track here that you can keep track of what phase you're in, and all this sort of good stuff. That's very, very convenient. Uh, air is very prevalent, and I think without it, you would be really in dire straits here, because every, every phase, including the Soviet phases, you get to use your air, so... Uh, I'm sure that'll change when the weather changes, but that you're going to need that. I already feel like I'm a little bit under the gun because I, it's turn two. I'm about to do my, that was my second, that actually is the end of the, the axis phase. I've got one, two, three turns of clear weather left unless I roll well for 
the mud phase. So if I'm not down around, you know, this area or even further, there's a little chance that uh, the axis will have an opportunity to win. I'm going to avoid the coastal stuff, regardless of the VPs there, and try and head down uh, towards Baku, etc., down this way. All right, thought I'd just give a quick little update there. Probably about all you need to know. We'll see how we go from here.